Nigerian football right now is not really the best. Uh, it's not really in the best place, as we can say, because it's not going well at all with Nigerian football. You just have to fix it, looking at that particular scenario. Welcome you on the show. 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adeni Aji Shafe. Joining me to talk sport this hour is uh, Olawale Peter. It's good to have you. It's my pleasure being back, Adeni. Good one. Let's start with Nigeria under 15. Future Eagles could miss African youth games. That's why I actually started with that particular uh, talk that Nigerian football is not in the right place right now. We have to get it right because we need to get better when it comes to doing the business of football in Nigeria. Under 15, Future Eagles, they are supposed to be playing in the competition that will be coming up in Cairo, Egypt. And today, as we, see, as we speak right now, we know that the date is very close. 26th of this month, that competition will be starting. And yet, Nothing has been heard concerning them being in camp or what would they be doing as it is right now. Nigerian Football Federation are mum about it and Nigerians are asking the question, what is happening? Future Eagles, would they be going to Cairo or not? Today is uh, 12 and we are supposed to be, uh, the competition is supposed to be starting by 26 and still we don't know what is happening. Um, it's a fire brigade approach and mentality. <clears throat> well, let me quickly cut in. Well, according to Ministry of Youth and Sport, that they submitted the uh, budget. budget last week, and they know what it takes before this the money will be out, and before you know it, will be uh, people will not understand that it's not the ministry now; it's the NFA that submitted late. Like what happened to Super Falcons in Morocco? It's still about our mentality of fire brigade approach. approach. They submitted the budget late, fire brigade approach. Mm. That's the issue. Like you said in the morning, that we don't learn from mistakes. The same mistake they At make about Super Falcons, and they, made, and they repeat it. They made this mistake about two, two, three months ago. <laughs> I don't know what happened to some people with retentive memory. Maybe you have to be clicking refresh. They will normally click refresh when a system is hanging mm. on some of these, our so-called leaders. Administrators. Uh, sincerely, it's seriously annoying. And we call this, we call these young boys future eagles. eagles. So where, where's the future in them? By now, like you rightly said, they're supposed to be in camp. Mm -hmm. If you look at their, um, their, the opponents that they'll be playing against, probably by now, I'm not even probably, I'm sure most of them will be in a camp. Already, so maybe some of them are even size to arrive Cairo. To arrive Cairo to get acclimatized. Most of these players, most of these young boys, they've never been outside this country mm. before. Some of them, maybe, some of them have never even entered a flight before in their life. So entering a flight and getting that, it can take them two or three days to, to get to used to get used to okay, I'm bad for I'm alive. That's the reality. Mm. Some of them have not tasted um, any other dishes Except. apart from our Nigerian food. Mm. They will go to that place. They will give them something that they are not used to. These are the factors that affect players' performance. performance. And we are talking about under 15. How much is the budget? So why is it that we normally do things that I will ask myself that do we really need all these people to be to be to be manage, I mean to be managing our, our, football. our football in this country? Now, don't let us blame the NFL, they have their own fault. You know anything that has to do with F NFL. NFL, just forget about it's it. Just more like a failure. Hmm. That's the truth. Now, the ministry themselves, they knew that a particular competition is going to take place so 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 time. And you know the mentality of the NFF. Who supposed to remind them that, bros, we've not seen this from you. Why are they also waiting until this dying minute? Maybe I should be the scribe here. What if they remind them and they say, oh, don't worry, sir, we are bringing it, we are bringing it? Uh, I doubt if that is the situation. Mm. Because if that is the situation... And decide to lay, stay back. Yes. If that is the situation, they won't be complaining now that they just submitted. They will have include in their statement that, oh, we've reminded we, them, we asked them before they did not do anything. So mm. they didn't do... What's the ministry, what is the difference between the people at the ministry uh, and the, and NFL. the NFL? What's the, what's the difference? There's no difference between them. That's the truth. Until we, we restructure both the ministry and the NFF, we continue to have this issue. The competition we are going for, it is not last month. It's this same August. It, no, it's not last month that we are aware we will be representing. Of course. It's not it has been shifted ago. about three times. Three times. So that means we're supposed to have, have a budget submitted a long time ago. Now, the money will go to the ministry. 
before the ministry will open the file, they will send it to the president for approval. So once it is approved, it will go to Ministry of Finance or the Ministry of Finance. For Ministry of Finance, they will now send it to the CBN. The CBN will now ask for their uh, account details. They now say they want to take money from the TSA. They now look at it that ah, there's no money in the TSA account. So let's wait for another. Why are we doing this? And we have been calling on the government. If they cannot do this, they have people that are ready hmm. to sponsor. I'm very sure, just like uh, Minister of Youth and Sport, he has done very well, sincerely, but the rot, in, especially in uh, NFF, mm. it's, not, it's too much for him. Something it's must too, be done. It's, too, it's really too much for him to clean up at a time. So what am I saying is, the same way that we have the Adopt an Athlete Initiative, we have the Adopt a Pitch Initiative. initiative. Let's have Adopt our national team Initiative. So that at least uh, maybe somebody Let's can... Let's have some, someone that can take care of, okay, for the Super Eagles, for the Falcon, for the Falcon we, we can even have for the four under people 50, teaming up. Teaming up. Sponsor just like we have someone taking care of uh, Alaji Dangote, mm. taking care of it's Abuja stadium. stadium. And we have uh, Adebutu, taking, Adebutu care of Lagos. taking care of Lagos also. Let's have that also so that we can remove, I mean, reduce some of this burden because we can't leave government alone. alone to do this. But because of the corruption and because of what some of these NFF officials, they are getting. Now, let's say, for example, now, if you, Ademi Adichafe, mm -hmm. you said you want to adopt the under 15. So that means you really don't want to take care of their flight. Feeding. Feeding and Accommodation. Everything. So everything. whatever you are giving to them will go directly to those boys. Yes. Nothing will pass through the NFF. Of course. Will they allow that? So that is where we have some of the problem. But I think if you start doing that, let's even start from the under 15, from the under 17, from the under 20, that the expensive, how much is the flight Egypt Air from Air to Cairo? For how many of them? Two and four. We have well many Nigerians that, that, can afford. that they are ready to do that. I think the Minister of Youth and Sport should look into this also, adopt a national team. Let's see some people that will come out, because this is very embarrassing. Mm. These boys, I'm very sure, we watched their game that they played recently at uh, Rebel. Well, yes. We saw how talented, how good these boys have. And these are the future. Because it's from, un, from this under 15, 15 that will get 17, 20, 20. Even from under 17, they can start playing for the Super Eagles. Of course. They can start doing that. But when you are killing their future by not doing the right thing, I think it is very very embarrassing. I'm sure the boys will, they, they will not disappoint us, but we need to do the right thing. The time is just too, too, too close for them. And I think it's, it's high time we begin to go back to the style we normally use before, where you pick even secondary school students to play. I still remember Unduka Ubadi, Daniel Amokachi, all these guys were, they were picked while they were still very young, and they play for Nigeria. Now, you see, uh, most of their players are old or they, they are already from 25 up or before they can play for Super Eagles. It's not supposed to be so. Like I mentioned, I remember vividly Unduka Ubadi, <laughs> Henry Uwosu, if you remember too, very young, uh, Fata, in fact, Fata, youngest. Fata Atere. Uh, Fata Atere, all secondary. Uh, maybe I should use the whole secondary as we call mm. them in Nigeria. Some of them are from, Seriously. They are from CMS and Finbar. Yes. You know the reason why we can't have that now again? Because our uh, school curriculum, has been halted. You know, there's, uh, there's a value chain that works together. In those days, I recall vividly that I used to play the principal's cup, that all secondary school, we they compete. Will, they will compete and see who is good. It is from there that you pick the best. We used to have Nuga game, used to be pronounced more than this. We have the likes of Sheyola Vinjano, mm. we have the likes of Vincent Enyama, they all came from Nuga games. games. We have Nipoga. If you still have all this competition. There is even one for College of Education games. They yes, have we, it have, we, yes. Have, we have it for all the tertiary institutions, yes. both monotech, monotechnic, polytechnic University. universities, as for the secondary school. So from there, you can assemble a good 22 or 23 or 30 players that they are within that age. That is why we have the likes of Kano Uwanko that achieve what he achieved. We had the likes of Victor Ekweba that achieved what he achieved because we caught them very young. very young. Not those that they only come two, three years. Jonathan Pomboye, where is he today? Mm. 
He wants to contest for NFL pressure. NFL. So we have most of them, as in how many years did they play for the Super Eagles? So that's why you continue hearing the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi. You continue hearing their name. We've been hearing their name. Now, Messi, he played under 20 Junior World Cup mm. with Di Maria. And they play against Nigeria. We are all the Nigerians. The set of players. Even set of Joseph player, Yobo and the, all of them. We are, we are all of them today. How many are still playing ball? Angel Di Maria has gone to Juventus. Messi is still with PSG. You think How many of, of Nigerian players that played with them, they are still playing football today? Mm. It's because of what we do. Let's even, uh, okay, look at the set of uh, the same Mikel Obi, Taye Taye, all of them that played together at, at that time in that World Cup. Don't let us talk about Taye Taye. <laughs> <laughs> so I think until uh, we yeah. go to that route, we go to the, that grassroots, like we, spo we, we said in the morning, look at that young, the young lad, the young girl that won five Yes, Avanigua. Avanigua, that, won, that her dream is to be the world champion, to go to the Olympic. And look at what she's doing at this young age of... 11 years. The uh, just concluded Commonwealth and the last Olympic. We have uh, an athlete of 13, 15 years that represented their Nigeria. country. Mm. Uh, their Nigeria, country sorry. Nigeria, 15 years. How? how? Where, where? We, 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 do, we don't have it. And this is how we're supposed to start from. That is why if you go to Olympic 2024, whatever happens, even if it's for the experience, let them just pick. Even for the exposure, hmm. let her pick from there. The next four years, you'll be surprised. She will just, all the medals, she will clear everything. We should, we should have that in place. If we don't have that in place, we'll continue to lament. This under 15 uh, future eagles, what the federal government, uh, sorry, what the NFF and the Ministry of Youth and Sports, what they are doing to them is seriously, seriously unfair. Maybe we'll call on well many Nigerians, those that can build them out from this their precarious situation mm. because they need to really showcase their talents to the world. And if they didn't take this opportunity, how are they going to do that one? We call on them to try and please step in. We just hope that something can be done concerning this because right now this event will be starting by 26th of August and we are still waiting to hear from what's going to happen concerning it. Although we we'll wait to see if they will be able to make that trip to Cairo, Egypt, where the African Youth Games uh, will be coming up and they will be able to compete in that particular competition. Future Eagles of Nigeria, under 15 boys that play for Nigeria there. Now, matches will be coming up uh, on Friday. Uh, matches will be coming up. Let's quickly look at those fixtures in La Liga, Bundesliga, and also French League on. Osasuna will be at home against Sevilla. That's a match to watch. Freiburg against Borussia Dortmund, another big one there. Freiburg, they are back and they want to do something big against uh, Borussia Dortmund. Lille, former champions of uh, France, now they will be playing against uh, Moses Simon team. That's Nantes. Nantes is uh, actually they did well last season also. Now they want to face uh, Lille. With this is possible for Moses Simon to be scoring today. Those are the matches that will be coming up in La Liga, Bundesliga, and also French League One. Uh, it's good to see the football season back, back mm. and alive this time around. And let's see what will happen. The opening day of uh, Premier League, we saw what happened. And today also, let's see what will happen. The uh, opening uh, day of La Liga. Yes. Uh, let's see what will happen between the just returning mm. on the um, Bundesliga. Let's see what they will do. Probably they are going to shock um, the Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund. Maybe going for a draw or to make a statement that, oh, we are back. Just like Fuam did against uh, Liverpool it was by a playing 2-2. Two, two. And he, I didn't expect them to get 2-2. Two, two. In fact, it was outright win for everybody looking at that game that Liverpool beat uh, Fulham. Well, and I don't see it that way because mm. Liverpool, they are late starters. They are always late starters. And the fact that they drew their first match doesn't mean we should write them off. No, I'm talking about Fulham. That I, mm. I, I, I wasn't expecting them to even play 2-2. Two, two. I expected Liverpool to win them. To match. win them. You see, when you have um, a team just coming from relegation to the first tier, the first three, four, five matches, they are, not, they are not playing their game. Oh. <laughs> they are playing PL. They are, they are, they are ex exactly. Arrival they are like, oh, PL. we've arrived. Everybody is looking boys. at us with the big boys. So the first five matches, you'll see what they will do. Mm. Anybody that meet them, it will be difficult for so, them so, to so, crack. So, hmm. Because they'll go for either of the two. Either they win or they draw. Draw. But for you to win them, it will be very, very difficult. That happens in all the leagues. Probably that will happen in German league also. Then for the Lille and Nats also, it will be a very interesting 
to watch between both of them, and they know themselves very well. They've been in the same league for same years. League for years, so it will be an interesting one. Then for Osasuna and Sevilla, it's still close to call. Mm. Sevilla, they're a very good team, but Osasuna, we know them very well. They are spoiler. They are really spoiler. Ask Barcelona, they will tell you. They are the bright team from England. They are the, from England. <laughs> they are the stubborn team from uh, La Liga. So mm. it's going to be an interesting match to watch tonight. Now, while we're actually talking about it, let's digress a bit. Looking at the fact that La Liga is starting today, and the club called Barcelona that plays at no camp, let me make it official, that uh, as it is, they are running around to get some players registered. And if they don't do this between today and tomorrow, there will be trouble. In fact, today. Because now, Rafinha, Lewandowski, uh, some <laughs> other players that they got, they need, yes, they need to make them stay. They need to register them. And from the way it is, there are players that need to be cheap out, like Dijon, Aubameyang, uh, Depay, Memphis, Depay, all of them. And right now, the list, they have the list there. They have the one that, that they are yet to go. They are even saying, I'm not living <laughs> out to you. See, my yeah. Big issue. <laughs> no issue. Mm. But now they know what they are doing. I've they, said this they will get it done. And I will ask again. We need to investigate. Know how they got the money. Where are they getting all this money that they refuse to play Frank De Jong about $15 million? That After they all, money. they said they don't have money. Then. But you are supporting them before that. Why I, I'm not, supporting them. Why are you not saying that they said they don't have money? No, according to... Who is sponsoring, who is sponsoring them from They where? saw some right, like which I right? used to say. They which, saw some... Which right? TV right. TV right that... And they got about 400 million euros. No, 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 no. no. Don't, bring, don't bring that one. Don't let me break that one down for you, please. <laughs> they have sponsors. No, how many sponsors do they have? What are sponsors? A lot of people love the Barcelona. Same, so. The same way players are running from Manchester United. But remember, the likes, of, the likes of Gerard Piquet now is offering that, yes, I, I will play. Don't, don't, don't pay me. Pay court. He wants to take another pay court. He's not like even, he don't even pay me. I'll, I'll play. This is, my, this is the team I love. It's pay court. Not, nobody <laughs> say he wants to do that one. Okay. So what I think, um, I just hope, I'm, I'm sure... Chelsea fan, mm. they'll be very happy with what is happening in Barcelona because there was a news this morning that probably um, Christensen may likely come back to Chelsea mm. if they are unable to, to, sign, to sign them. To even sign a lot of them. A lot of them may go back. Okay. And why I said you shouldn't bother yourself about Barcelona, they know how to play the draft. It's the chance that they are playing. They've gotten the player that they wanted to get and the player that will leave. Let's they see know. what will happen between today and tomorrow. tomorrow. They will leave. Because they cannot do without getting Lewandowski, without getting all those players, because they need to fight for tie two with Real Madrid. Real Madrid. So they are trying to rebuild their team. So they've already penciled down those players that they don't need. Abomeyang, don't be surprised. You see him returning back to Premier League. In Chelsea. Fact, that's the story we're about to take right now. Maybe I should just take this story right now. Coming from uh, the transfer story, well, even though Chelsea, my manager, Thomas Tucker, has been pushing for the signature of Obama Young, well, Obama Young right now would prefer to stay at Barcelona than return to the EPL with Chelsea. Just, that just came up. He wanted to say, well, what if they don't want you? Of course. I, but, they, don't uh, like, they don't like you in the city. I say you want to go into music. Yeah, it's happening to, your, it's, it's happen to the, young two, the young two wants to stay. Chelsea wants him. Yeah, Chelsea, Man United. But Chelsea seems to be having an edge. Let's, let's clear it. Mm. The young wanted to leave, but not to Manchester United. Yes, so, but we would prefer Chelsea. We prefer Chelsea. So you didn't reject Chelsea. Mm. It's Manchester United that you rejected. I just want us to clear that one. So, mm. And most likely... The young may go to Chelsea. Abome Young also. Okay, now tell me, where do you think Abome Young will fit in already? How old is he? And but the, the uh, uh, Chelsea coach or a manager wants him. Definitely, because right now, do we have do uh, the top nine? Chelsea, do they have any top nine? They don't. They don't have any top nine. Though Timo, when now going, it's as good as you don't even need him. And that already. has opened that particular that has space. That opened that space for them, and they also have money because they cash in in some of the player that left also. So they have the money to also to spend. So definitely right now, uh, they are in the box. Mm. That's the truth. And Abumi Yang, it's a, it's a good player. Uh, we knew what he did with Arsenal, even more because of the management. When I say management, that's the relationship between him and uh, Mikel Ateta that didn't go very well. It's a player that when you have, you can be rest assured of at least minimum of 15 goals per season. Abumi Yang can give that to any team in Premier League. Even look at when he joined Barcelona newly. He was pouring in goals. He scored about 9 or 10 goals for them, just the little month that he spent with them. So 
take it or leave it, Abomi Young will leave, Frank De Young will leave. They know those players that will leave. And they know the player that they want to sign in one way or the other. They, will get, they, they always have their way. Barcelona? We we'll wait to see what's going to happen concerning this transfer. It's becoming very intriguing right now. Barcelona, well, they just have to meet up with deadline as La Liga will be starting today. Well, quickly, let's look at other stories trending in the world of transfer. We talk about PSG in talk with Marcus Rashford's agent uh, over a move from Manchester United. Well, from the way it is, they came for him sometimes back. That particular story went down, and now they are back again to go for the Englishman. Um, I think Mark, uh, Marcus Rashford should still remain in Manchester United. Mm. That's the truth. And I really doubt... If, if they will allow him to if, leave, because... If even he... Who wants to, to leave, leave Manchester United? Where will he play? You no. have these Jagabans at the front. <laughs> <laughs> you have these three guys Messi, Mbappe, Neymar. Mm -hmm. And even, uh, what's his name now? Uh, uh, the Italian striker, it Icardi, Icardi, Moro Icardi, 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 Icardi is there. Icardi also. So, what will happen if, if, and it's not in the best frame of form right now? So it's not as if when he gets to PSG, he can draw with these guys. So what he need now is he need a team where he can play in week in, week out. Not then PSG. I would even prefer if he can go to Roma. Yes. To go and work with Mourinho. Mourinho. What do, we, what, what do I mean by that? He need a coach that will believe in, in him, him, that will motivate him and give him that confidence. And Mourinho is a, is a coach that, if he knows that you have that potential, he will, will, continue, wake, he will, he will get continue to mm, use you. Till you pick up. In fact, if you have injury, and you are doing like this, that I want to come out. He will not he will continue <laughs> to play. Look at uh, Tony Abraham. Look at what he's doing currently now. Mm. Tony has become a star. He has become a star right now. So what he needs now, he needs that coach that can wake him up. Marcus, Ra uh, Marcus Rashford. Rashford, it's a very, very good. We saw what he did. You know, I said it earlier, that what Manchester United, what they are lacking now, they are lacking that fatherly role. That when players are coming, you have a coach that will mentor them like a father. That they had in Ale, uh, Alex Ferguson. Then they also need to have a dressing room where you have the like of Paul Cole, Ryan Giggs, all of them. We'll be looking up to them that, oh, these people have really achieved a lot. Mm. I need to learn a lot from them. That is what Rashford needs right now. I think Manchester United is the best place for him to continue his career. Good one out there. And the last one, the straw has to do with uh, Manchester City. They want to get a player. Then the place of Zichenko actually left. Now they are looking at Renan Lodi. Now Lodi, that's the player they are looking at. Where we talk about Manchester City interested in signing Atletico Madrid left back. <coughs> Renan Lodi. Six players have been lined up, but Renan Lodi seems to be having an edge. Also, Anderlet Sergio Gomez. Okay. Um, you see, what Manchester City, what they are telling other clubs in... England or in Europe is that it is difficult to maintain success than failure mm. because they are the team to beat. They won the Premier League back to back. Okay, so they want to make that record just like Manchester United had it before to win a trick three consecutive time. time. So what they are doing is to make sure that all their loopholes, where, where they think they are lacking they fix it. So it will be very interesting. However, it will be very disappointing if at the end of this season, Manchester City do not win the Champions League and the Premier League. Mm. Because despite the amount of money that they've spent, they are still very, very, very active in the transfer market. So the, uh, the, the tactics and how good Pep Guardiola is will be questioned by the end of this season to see what he can do with it. It's a very good one. Let's see if they can, if they can go for it. Because Manchester City, they have a brand right now in England that every player who wants to dream of playing for them. Good one out there. Coming from Malali Peters concerning Manchester City, coming for Arena Lodi, a place for Atletico Madrid. That will be it on 360 Sport. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show. It's my pleasure being here, Adeni. Good one out there. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.